Hey guys, LJ Young for Life here. I'm in Waikiki, Hawaii. I've been taught to say it right. Waikiki, Hawaii. All right, cool. Anyway, so I'm gonna talk to you about what I've been experiencing here in uh, Waikiki as I walk down the street on the beach and things of that nature, you know. Uh, I get compliments from women, uh, guys, guys around my age, and then, you know, and when I tell them my age, you know, when I tell them I'm 46, they'd be like, man, you look good for 46. I'm like, into my, to myself, what does that even mean? I look good for 46. What am I supposed to be? Have a, a walker with two tennis balls on the front, something like this. Then I had to stop and think, that's just what society has put into us to believe that once you, once you get past 30, you're supposed to look a certain way. You can't look the way you, uh, you did before when you're in high school or whatever, right? I've been having a six pack since age 27 when I decided to change my life. And I changed it in a way that it's a lifestyle now. You know, it's a lifestyle. And that all falls into what the premise of LJ Young for Life is, is to show you guys how to live this way as a lifestyle. I'm not in no kind of bodybuilding competition. I'm not trying to compete in any way for any kind of, you know, body, whatever. I do this as a lifestyle. And so that's what I'm gonna show you guys because it's already hard enough making it up in your mind that you want to live this way as, as in a healthy way. That's already hard enough. But that's just phase one. Phase two is dealing with society when you decide to change your lifestyle. Example, events happen every single year. They're not going to change just because you changed your lifestyle. How to handle those food events, because all those events have food. All right? So example, say like you're out with a crowd, a company, whatever, they order steaks, burgers, fries, blah, blah, blah. And you turn, it's your turn, you say, I'll take a salad, put dressing on the side in the water. Then everybody's like, whoop, what are you doing? You on a diet? Why are you only eating that? Blah, 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 blah. And then you get here, you advance, quest, I mean, you get all kind of questions. And some people do not want to deal with that, you know? So they'll just succumb to say, let me just order regular food so nobody says nothing. You know, so if you order a burger, fries, and a, a bottomless fries, nobody says a word. Nobody says, hey man, don't you think, you know, why are you eating bottomless fries? Don't you think that's a, nobody says nothing. But you order healthy food, people lose their freaking minds. Why is that? Like, like you said, like you're ordering something for their plate. You got to go, uh, 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 this is my plate. That's your plate. This is my plate. Eat the salad. Eat it. Eat it. Like you saying that, you know what I'm saying? So you, how to handle that, you know, how to deal with that so they'll stop bugging you about it, you know? Like, my, when I go to my family reunions, they know what, how LJ Young eats, what he eats, so they don't, they, they tease me every now and then, but they know it doesn't matter what you say. LJ is gonna eat the way he eats, and he's been doing it for years. So, once you get over that hurdle, man, I'm telling you, it's not that hard. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm here in, I'm here in Waikiki, Do, am I off my normal pattern? Yeah. But I, normally, I would get a room that had a kitchen in it so I could cook my own food, but I got something, you know, up my ass and I just wanted to come to Waikiki to, to just to get away for a vacation. But anyway, normally, I get something with a kitchen in it so I can cook my own food. Cook my own food. You save money and you eat what you want. All right? So I'm going I'm to I'm keep you guys informed of, you know, little ideas, how to handle holidays, vacations, so, and, and it, it all has to do with just pre-planning, pre-planning, that's it, and then you're ready, you're good to go, how to handle it, okay, all right, heading back out to the beach again, because I got a few more days left, so I'll let you guys later, all right, bye.